So for today's video, I'm gonna go over some scurvy shows, adventure zone tips. And I'm also gonna mention a couple of other things you wanna watch out for. Uh, I guess the first thing we'll go over are loadouts. In the earlier zones, when you don't have any weapons, I would recommend you use like a melee ninja, like Deadly Blade or even Dragon Scorch would also be a pretty decent hero to use. But the main thing I would recommend when first starting out is that you use the Blackbeard Stash team perk. Now, if you don't have Blackbeard Stash, you should be able to get it as a reward uh, from the Yard quest line. But when you first start out, you're gonna wanna use Blackbeard Stash because it gives you peg legs, which are really good melee weapons. You also get coconuts and cannonballs, but uh, that's what I would recommend when you first start out. Uh, once you find better weapons, you can switch your loadout around to buff those weapons. So let's say, for example, if you get the, the Xenon bow, you could switch over to Stoneheart Pharah, for example. And speaking of the Xenon bow, you, you can't get it from the vending machines. And the main tip I wanted to point out with that is that if you shoot all around the map in every direction, you can destroy mushrooms that way. You can also destroy gnomes as well. So if you're struggling with mushrooms, try looking for the Xenon bow in one of the vending machines and just shoot it in every direction around the map and you can destroy mushrooms that way. So that can help you with your mushroom quest. And there's also a bug quest later on where you have to complete mission alerts that's currently bugged at the moment. So you may have some issues with those two venture quests. Also, if you wanna get the most amount of XP from every venture mission, make sure you increase the difficulty to the max. And you can also earn a lot of XP by completing your mission alerts and by completing four player missions. So that's how you earn XP faster. Also, Red from our Discord mentioned that ever since he's completed the Magnets quest, which is part of the Blockbuster quest line, he said that he hasn't seen any Chrome Husk both in Twine Peaks and in Adventure Zone while playing solo. And another thing he said was that if you save the Walk the Planks quest, you'll be able to farm metal a lot easier because that quest is located in the Lakeside biome. And whatever you farm there ends up going to your Adventure Zone inventory. So those were a couple of tips that Red wanted me to mention. And big shout out to Red for providing his tips. And the last thing I wanna go over are the Venture Season Rewards. So here's the total amount of each item that you'll get. You'll be able to earn up to two Core Reef Perk, two Weapon Vouchers, two Hero Vouchers, three Jackpot Llamas, three Weapon and Trap Superchargers, four Hero Superchargers, and 16 Survivor Superchargers. And these are just the rewards you get from leveling up in Ventures. You can also get superchargers by completing certain venture quests. So once you get to some of the higher level quests, they'll give superchargers as a reward. But those are the totals. And here's when you'll actually get the rewards. And I'm just gonna go over the main ones. At level five and 10, you get a jackpot llama. At 13, you get a weapon voucher. 100 flux at 16. A core reperk at 17. Hero voucher at 20. 100 more Legendary Flex at 22, Survivor Supercharger at 25, you get one Trap Supercharger at 28, two Survivor Superchargers at 31, 450 Legendary Perk Up at 33, one Hero Supercharger at level 34, three Survivor Superchargers at 37, one Weapon Supercharger at 40, four Survivor Superchargers at 42, one Hero Supercharger at 44, five more Survivor Ones at 46, 600 Legendary Perk Up at 47, and you get one Trap Hero and Weapon Supercharger at 48, 49, and 50. So those are all of the rewards you can expect to see from leveling up adventures. But keep in mind, you'll also be able to earn superchargers from your weekly quest, and you'll also get some superchargers from some of the high level venture quests. So you'll be able to earn a couple more from ventures and weekly quests. Now I know some of y'all are probably wondering, is it possible to AFK or jail build in a new venture zone? And the answer is, I don't know. So let's go find out. I guess I'll go ahead and say it is possible to jail build. It's gonna require a little bit more effort this season though because of the Huskies being able to do more damage. So basically you're gonna to wanna to have at least two people having the slow field, make sure at least one person has the banner and they're gonna to have to cycle between their slow fields. You need at least one person to use base Kyle. You're gonna want another person to use 
a power base constructor, so power base knocks, power base penny. And if you have a third person, you can have them use hotfix or hazard, and they're gonna be the person's heal in the wall. Because it's not 100% AFKable, you will most likely have to heal. And if you have huskies, you're definitely gonna have to heal. So you're gonna need slow fields, banners, power base, and base Kyle. And if you have a third person, you can have them play as hotfixer. And this is just for high level four times jail builds. When it comes to most missions, uh, you're gonna wanna do it the normal way because of the season's modifiers. But we're gonna go ahead and do a jail build real quick just to show that it is possible. But like I said, it's gonna require a little more effort. Uh, the modifiers this season are so annoying. So like, let's say they have a spawn on the south, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's something on like the east here and this is like covered, right? You'd want to make this wall like this so they can still walk up. But if there's no spawn over there, just keep it a full wall. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I was wanting y'all to show me that uh, mushroom tip. That didn't sound right. I want y'all to show the uh, xenon bow. <laughs> I just shoot around the map with Xenon, if you get one. Yep, it actually went up a mushroom, so that works. So if you're able to find a Xenon bow in one of the vending machines, all you have to do is just aim in all directions around the map and shoot it. You should be able to destroy some mushrooms that way. All right, so once we start it, we're gonna go ahead and put the wall spikes on this wall right here, uh, so we can heal the wall piece. And basically, we're just gonna cycle between our slow fields but yeah, I dropped my base uh, uh, directly above the balloon, and then we had another constructor drop his above that one. And then we'll have the hot fixer kill in this wall on the inside. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the build real quick. What is that Chrome Husky doing? What are you doing, Chrome Husky? Uh, basically, it's the same walk-in build that we did a few months ago. Uh, the only difference with this one is that it has a floor piece, a diagonal floor piece, in there to help some of the husk go AFK. And we do have a riot husk in there. But yeah, that's that's basically the only difference between this one and the last one. And this is Mitch Rob's variation of it, correct? Yeah, he posted this on his channel already. Okay. So yeah, this is Mitch Rob's variation. And we're gonna try it out and see how it holds up. But I think when it comes to this new venture season, you're just gonna to wanna to play most missions the regular way. Maybe save this jail build for like, for high level four times missions because of the venture modifiers. Speaking of which, I believe there was a post on Reddit where they talked about buffing the hero modifiers for this venture season. If I can find the post, I'll I'll show what it says exactly. But I don't I don't know if they're gonna nerf the husk modifiers, but apparently they're looking at buffing some of the hero modifiers. And if they do, I'll be sure to let you all know. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my slow fuel. Mm. Oh yeah, they break the floor sometimes, but even then those husks still stay AFK. It's weird. You could also have somebody uh, use a banner as well. And obviously, again, when it comes to Chrome Huskies, uh, if you want to kill them, you, you're going to have to use a weapon that has either fire or water. Or, I believe, do they still go down after the second down? Or the first down, I mean? Do they st uh, no, I think that that was just for the early things. Early zones? Yeah. Okay, so you need fire and water for later zones. But yeah, I think when it comes to this build, I, I think the main problems you're going to want to look out for are the Husky Husk because they deal so much damage. So when you see them, just either heal the, the wall piece, use your slow field, use your banner. I don't think it's going to be possible to AFK any mission in this venture season. Oh, it sounds like a smasher. Uh-oh. Oh, look at the smasher. Come here. Oh, oh well, he was AFK until that flopper jumped in there. <laughs> But yeah, it's just sitting there AFK. Yeah, look, what? Uh Okay, I don't I don't know why he's doing that, but the smash one <laughs> AFK. And scurvy shows husk AFK you. See it is possible to jail build, but it, it, it's gonna require a little bit more effort, like cycling between your slow fields, using banners, uh, the wall spikes. 
but you, you probably be better off with most missions just doing it the normal way. Just wanted to show that it's still possible. But yeah, I think that sums up everything I'm gonna go over for this one. If there's any tips I didn't mention, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Big shout out to Magic and Fam for helping us out. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.